everyone, it's Miss Amanda, and today we're going to be talking about a new animal. So this week's animal is an animal that likes to come and visit once a year, usually carrying a basket full of goodies and some eggs that he likes to hide. And he usually comes around this time of year during Easter. So what animal could I possibly be thinking of? The Easter bunny, you're right. We're going to be talking about bunnies today or rabbits. Rabbits come in all different sizes and colors. So some of you may have some rabbits at home or you may know someone who has a rabbit as a pet and they may be white or brown or gray or spotty or black, but they're always nice and fluffy and have little tails and big ears, right? But otherwise, some other places you may see some rabbits are just outside or in your front or backyard. Those rabbits live in the wild and they look like this. Just like most other animals that we talk about, the boy rabbit and the girl rabbit have different names for themselves. So the girl rabbit, the female rabbit, is known as a doe. While the boy rabbit, the male rabbit, is known as a buck. And when the doe and the buck have a baby, the baby is actually known as a kitten, just like a cat, can you believe it? He's called a kitten, or some people call him kit for short. Doesn't matter what kind, whether it's a pet or a wild rabbit, a boy or a girl, black or white or brown or gray, all rabbits are herbivores. Can you say herbivore? So if we remember, herbivore just means that an animal is a vegetarian and that they like to eat plants. So what do rabbits usually like to eat? What do you always see them snacking on or you hear that they eat? Carrots, you're right. As much as rabbits do like to just snack on carrots, they can't eat carrots for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. They need some other food as well. So usually carrots are going to eat other plants such as grass or weeds or clovers that are outside and easy access for them. So as you may already know or you've seen before, rabbits live outside. But you don't always see them throughout the day. And that's because they spend some time underneath the ground. They go through their little rabbit holes and into their room underground that's called a warren. And this warren is where they're going to sleep and take care of their babies. Sadly, it's very popular for other animals to try to chase and catch rabbits. But it's a good thing that rabbits have certain body parts that are going to help them to get away from other animals. So rabbits have these eyes that allow them to see about 360 degrees around them. So what that means is they can see all the way around and almost basically behind them. So if another animal is trying to get them from behind, they are going to be able to see it coming without even having to turn their head. And it allows them to get away fast enough in time before the other animal charges at it. Another feature that rabbits have are their long ears. Their long ears allow them to be used as antennas and then they can rotate so they, so they can detect certain sounds so they can hear if another animal is approaching them and getting close. And another thing that rabbits are really good at that you may already know is hopping and jumping. So for them to hop and jump, they use their back legs. Their back legs are super powerful and super strong for a little animal. It allows them to escape quickly and to jump very high to get away from predators. Another feature that I love about rabbits, but do not have to do anything with getting away with other animals is their little cotton ball tail at the end. Okay, now that we learned a little bit about rabbits, let's get into our project for today. So you're only going to need a few things. You're going to need some chalk. You can also use pastels. You're going to need some tape going to need scissors, something to draw with, and you're going to need a black piece of paper, and then really any other um, piece of paper to cut out. 
So the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to take your white piece of paper or whichever color that you have, and you can either print out a silhouette, which just means just the shape, the outline of a rabbit, or you can just free draw it um, on your own. I actually drew one just on my own. Um, it's easiest if you do it like this. So this way you can maybe trace something that's a bigger circle, a smaller circle, and add in the ears. I just drew it so mine's not really that even, but I like them like that. You're going to put tape on the back of your rabbit. doesn't really matter what side it is. And you are then going to place it in the center of your paper. You don't want to put the tape on top of it. You want to put it in the back because then you don't want anything to go off the edges. So let me do that really quick for us. Okay, so I taped my rabbit onto my paper. You just want to make sure that you really tape closer to the edges. Don't focus so much on the center. As long as your edges have tape on the other side, you're just going to press it down so you don't have any pieces lifting up from the side and it's really stuck on there. Okay, so now you can take out your chalk and you're going to take out the first color. I'm going to stick with some pastel -y colors to try to stick with my Easter theme. And with your first piece of chalk, you're going to try to focus on coloring around the edges of your rabbit. So try to make sure that you're getting a good amount of chalk. You can go back and forth. You don't want to draw just one line. You want to make it heavy. So I'm getting mine a little bit onto my rabbit and a little bit off of the page of my rabbit and onto the black. And you want to keep on doing it so you see some chalk dust build up on the side. Once you do that, you can either use a tissue, a, a Q-tip, or your fingers. I'm just going to use my fingers. And then I'm going to start to push it away. Almost like when you draw a sun and you make the rays go outside of the circle, you're going to be thinking about giving this rabbit rays and you're going to be pushing the chalk dust away from the rabbit. So this would be towards the inside. You want to go towards the outside. So put your finger where your first um, spot of chalk dust is and you're going to push it away. Just like that. And you're going to be making some streaks. So if you want, you can do this and you could go on and move over to other colors as well. Oops. And sometimes I like to overlap my colors so then I get to blend them a little bit. So next I'm doing orange next to my pink. And I'm going to make sure that I draw enough on so I see some chalk dust building up on my paper. And then once I think I have enough, I'm going to take my finger once again and I'm going to give it some rays, just like that. Ta-da! So you can take your time and you can fill out all of the outside, just like you're outlining the rabbit. And then once we're done, we're going to peel it off. Okay, so I finished coloring around my rabbit. Now I'm going to slowly and carefully peel off the white part, leaving behind the outline of the colors around it. And ta-da! So now you know a little bit more about rabbits and you have a super cute piece of artwork to hang up if you celebrate Easter just in time for Easter. Have fun!